Hello and happy Valentine's Day to Greetings. each and every one of you. Happy boom, Valentine's Day to boom, you. Boom. Happy Valentine's, bro. Jared and Estevan, thank you guys so much for tuning in for another week's, a very special week's edition of Heat Press Nation Live. Very, very special. You guys, we're super excited because as you may have figured out by the title, uh, we're flexing. We're flexing our muscles today, but no, but really, we're flexing with some Flex Off, Forever Flex Off. Really fun product. I know we get a lot of questions about it. Lots. So we wanted to talk about that a lot today. But before we get into all of our stuff, uh, we're going to do what we do best, which is hug. Yeah, absolutely. Bring it in. You can feel the love here around the HPN <laughs> office, and I hope the love is with you in each and every one of your hearts. It is Valentine's Day. It is a gloomy, <laughs> kind of a gloomy Valentine's Day. We got some over yeah, here. here okay. in Southern we'll, California. We'll um, I hope wherever you are, you had a safe weather. You guys are being kind on the road, and you're not too cold out there. Yes. Yes, yeah. definitely. Uh, but there's another thing that we do really great here, and that is give stuff away, all right? So we're super excited. Those of you guys who are watching, who are watching regularly, you know that the way to do it is to like and share this post that you're watching right now. But then now we're changing it up a little bit just to make it a little easier for us to contact our winners is after you've liked and shared, comment saying liked and shared. Yeah. Just just drop, do us a favor. That way if you're the winner, you will get to you a heck of a lot faster than searching through all the past likes. It's, it's a yeah. lot easier to get a hold of our winners. Let us way. know you want to win. You know, that's how we're going to see who's taking that. Who like, if there you guys, go. they want prizes, right? I don't know. Do you guys okay. want prizes? Absolutely. Of course <laughs> I'm they do. assuming yes. And we want to give them out. So as Jared said, it's going to be very easy. You can like and share, and drop your comments drop comment. right here down below and you'll be automatically uh, entered for consideration. We do have uh, all the viewers from last week what? here ready to go. So we'll be drawing a name uh, just a little bit coming up towards the end of the broadcast. Today we are talking about Flexsoft, but we also have another contest we like to run, right Jared? Yeah, and that's gonna be post of the week. Now post of the week, oh, there are, man, you know, our producers are excited. Let's go ahead and show it off. We'll explain <laughs> as we go along. Hashtag so HPN post creators. of the week, we're gonna show you guys the first post here. This is post A. Now, every post that you're seeing right now, these are the staff picks. So we actually go through everything. This is post A. Let's see what's next here. We got post B. That's really, I think it's a sublimation. It's really pretty. Oh, Anyways, awesome. we go through all the posts in our uh, Facebook group and then also using the HPN Creators hashtag. Let's see the next one here. See, it's gorgeous. Oh, yes. Is that one of those sequin pillows? Bro, no, oh, so this is, is actually a just a pillow? regular pillow, but they sublimated and did glitter. And if you look at the bumper, it's foil. We got like a trifecta here. Of different products so what do you so what does it have to do with you guys how do you guys win well you vote so those those three posts that you just saw we picked them but you guys are the ones who decide who wins so if you liked one and we're gonna let's let's roll them again uh, if you guys like these comment below right now uh, comment below which one you think should win so we have a which is really cool B also very cool and take a look at that pillow there option c no wrong answers guys make your voice be heard put your votes down below in the comment section you guys are going to pick uh if you guys are interested in you you know, getting involved we do have the hashtag right this way that yes. way oh, uh yeah yes. you guys can drop this on all of your social media posts great way to get considered for yes. our nominees for post of the week please share your work uh the hashtag is awesome i mean if you search it there's a lot of really cool work out there Dude, there is so much rad stuff using that hashtag stuff that we're really excited about so you guys please do us a favor and check that out. All right, uh, it's very cool. Once again, hashtag HPN Creators, or you could post directly to our group on Facebook. Now, let's pause for a second. As why don't you tell them about our Facebook group? Our Facebook group is awesome, guys. The URL is super easy to get to. It's heat.press slash FB group. Hey, there I, I've been, it is. I'm missing it. I'm awesome. used to being on this side. There we go. Um, really great place to also share your work. Also going to give you consideration for post of the week consideration. I said that twice. Yeah. <laughs> um, but what I really like about the group is really the helpful and kind nature of all of the group members. Yes. And by that I mean, you know, people will come in sometimes maybe asking for a printer recommendation or time and temperature settings or maybe even showing, you know, uh, poor results that they want to improve on. You know, we're there. It's moderated by the staff here really to, you know, give you guys that support but there's so many like I said helpful creators in the group they're really quick to provide their yes. thoughts their opinions what's worked for them and so I mean it just it's a great community to be a part of if you haven't already head on over do it yeah and you know what's cool I mean heat press nation we're so proud to be able to offer free lifetime technical support but you know realistically we're here Monday through Friday uh, our tech support team is here 8 30 to 5 p.m. Pacific right. time and so let's be real sometimes you're pressing stuff on a Saturday afternoon, uh, maybe a Sunday morning, uh, you're pressing stuff and you have a question that you need answered pretty quick. 
you know, if you can't wait till Monday, post it in the group because odds are very high that somebody in the group is going to see your post and they very likely had a similar experience. So it's a really great way uh, to get uh, help and questions answered. Of course, if you have any, any questions at all, we're here for you guys. Like I said, technical support is free for all of our HPN customers. So you want to uh, make sure you give us a call. Come Monday or you know whenever. There we go, guys. You heard it from the man. Uh, in addition, we also have a, a YouTube channel we're very proud of, yes. and you know I really love to yes. kind of share with customers I speak with just because there's such an array of information on there. It's quick, it's concise, it's got the visual. So I mean, for visual learners like myself, kind of seeing what someone's doing rather than just you know it makes a difference. So yeah. I highly recommend head over to YouTube.com/slash/HeatPressNation. <laughs> subscribe, drop some thumbs up. We love thumbs up. We do. There we go. It's true. <laughs> so that's all of our awesome shameless plug and make sure you guys check out all those great outlets. They're going to really benefit you and your feedback helps us in turn as well. But uh, today we have a specific topic in mind, Jared. Yes. Very specific, but very, very cool. Guys, today we're talking about forever flex up. I have to do my own sound effects here. So uh, check it out. We have our, our comments active here. I see everybody chiming in. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions about the product, or the processes that you're about to see today, hop in the comments. You might be watching the replay. Maybe you're not watching live right now, but you're watching the replay. The Feel future. free to comment in the future, yeah, because we do monitor our social media pretty closely. So if there's a question you have that comes up, feel free to put it in the comments. Uh, we'll get back to you ASAP. But if you're watching right now, please put your questions in right now. So very, very cool. Um, I have a question here. Really quick, we don't really take customer service questions live. Uh, I have someone here uh, on YouTube saying, can someone help me? We'd be happy to help you, you know, with basic questions like this. If you have a customer service us. question, just give holla. us a call. The phone number is right holla. there. Holla, holla, holla. All right. Holla. So anyways, yeah, yeah so this is really cool. We got some shout outs here. Uh, David Crespo says, hey, from New Jersey. Hi, David. Uh, let's see, where else? Who else we got? Edward Henry is saying hello from Springfield MO. Awesome. And I don't want to look like a dummy and not remember what MO stands for, so. Missouri. Thank you. There we okay. go. No I was, that was my first guess. There you go. No worries. Montana um, for some. Got animals. a lot of happy Valentine's Day. Thank you guys so much. I see the hearts coming in. Uh, like I said, I hope uh, you guys are being safe and have love in your day today. I got some hellos from Portland, Oregon. Oh, um, Stevie, hey, they, Steve. They probably sent us their weather. It's all rainy and right. And yeah. If you turn the camera <laughs> out, the, it's not the beautiful sunshine we see usually every day, but. Uh, yeah, thank you guys so much. Everyone, everyone's voting on the. Oh, they're so. voting already. Nice, yes. nice. Good to see you guys active in the comments there. Awesome. Again, you guys are the ones who pick the winners when it comes to post of the week. So that, I'm stoked on that. Fantastic. And, you know, as much as I'd love to play favorites, I can't. <laughs> good. There we go, guys. Um, so, I mean, for those of you who maybe work more so with your heat transfer vinyl or your inkjet heat transfer paper, you may not have dabbled as of yet with the Forever Flex Soft. This is a very unique transfer, and you don't need a whole lot to do it. If you're already working with a heat press machine, you're kind of halfway there. The only other thing you would need additionally is, what, what else do they need for FlexSoft? They need um, heat press. a big heart, lots of love. Oh, no, that's Valentine's. Oh, <laughs> for FlexSoft, all you need is a heat press and a laser printer and, of course, the FlexSoft product. There we go. Now, check it out. You, what you're seeing here on stage is probably, and I'm not down talking it, we sell it. It's probably one of the most basic printers you could come across. This is a brother monochrome meaning black and white laser printer it is very simple it's very affordable very accessible chances are you might have something similar already in your home or office um, and i'm a big fan of this of this printer and so what's cool about laser is you, if you try to use your laser printer for a laser transfer paper, you know that if your printer runs hot it could damage the paper well the paper that you print with FlexSoft, uh, it's not heat sensitive. The, oh. part, the piece that gets printed anyway. So awesome. really quick, we're going to go over the process with you guys from start to, to finish. finish. There we go, guys. Wait, so that is a very interesting fact. So yeah, I know like that's a concern with larger laser printers with some of like your uh, Forever Laser Dark or Laser right. Light, where you don't really want to print those at that high temperature. You can actually activate some of the paper. Right, so which will ruin the draw. It, it just totally destroys your printer. That part. So you're telling me the FlexSoft is not going to be heat sensitive for laser printers? It's not going to be heat sensitive that's for laser awesome. printers. Okay, so, that's great. So and if you guys want to know what FlexSoft is, uh, it's a single color, so it works kind of like vinyl. Check this out. All right. Now, I'm going to hold this up to, uh, to camera two in a second, um, but it's kind of like vinyl. You can see we have some other... Uh, oh, here, let me show this to camera two really quick. Yeah. So it's a single color. You print one color at a time, but look at that fine detail. These are names. 
Gosh, that Wowzers. looks like hundreds and hundreds of names. And this isn't even the complete transfer. But check it out. So it's a single color. It works like vinyl, except that it is... Two-step process. It's a two-step process, but it is... Forever Flex Soft Laser Heat Transfer Paper. And it is also... Not heat sensitive. Furthermore, it is... Help me out here, Jared. It's weedless. It's weedless. There it we go. Weedless. That's right. That's right. I knew this I was missing is... something. <laughs> Uh, no, it is. This is absolutely awesome, you guys. If you've ever had to weed out Names. a crazy detailed project Text. like this, this I can already tell you. Um, this whole thing, and we'll fin we're going to finish it live in the demo today. There's about 300 names that are going on this T-shirt. You know how long it takes to weed out 300 names, and you know how annoying it is when the names are super tiny. We're talking about maybe like an 11 point font right there on the T-shirt, possibly around there. Gosh darn, 300 names. That would take forever. This whole process from print to press will take you maybe about five to 10 minutes. See, yeah, for I mean, sure, it is, right? it is gonna be the additional step, but I mean, yeah. the time you're saving, I mean, this is where the Flex Soft's really gonna shine. It is gonna give you that single color, you know, vinyl appearance, you know, that we're all familiar with, but I mean, the time you're saving with the intricacy, if you wanna talk about distressing or things that, you know, would just be really yeah. a pain in the buns to, you know, be weeding and working. Imagine you have an order of these, weeding 300 names. I mean, there's just really always a great time and place for this kind of a product. Yeah. So we're gonna tell you now how it works and we're actually going to do a live demo here today on the show. The only thing that we're not showing you guys live is the actual printing process, but if you've ever printed with a laser printer, you know how quick and easy it is. It's not like inkjet, you send it to print and literally like five seconds later, uh, it's all done. So we printed this, of course, President's Day, Lincoln's birthday. We've got a little Lincoln uh, theme going on here. here. So you print it, comes out of the printer, and now this has no adhesive on it. It comes in a sheet like this. Uh, you do have to mirror your transfer, That's right. like vinyl. And it comes in a sheet like this. So those of you guys who have ever used sheets of vinyl, you know it's pretty similar, right? So this comes in an eight and a half by 11, 11 by 17 is also available. And you, whatever color you want your transfer to be, that's the color of Flex Off that you buy. So you print it on here, and you're probably wondering, well, how does this stick to my t-shirt, right? If it's just regular, it's just regular black toner from our laser printer. How the heck does this get onto my, oh, here we go. How the heck does this get onto my t-shirt? So this is a uh, step A, I this guess. Is, this is the, the A, a sheet. sheet. We're gonna call this the A sheet. Okay. And if there's an A sheet, then there's probably. A B sheet. There we go. So this, and you'll know which side to, to transfer on. So what the B sheet is, this is basically a sheet of adhesive that is specially designed to stick only to the toner. So this is how we get our weedless transfer paper. Now again, it is an extra step. You gotta print it. Mirrored. And you, mirrored. And then you, they call it marry. You gotta marry. Uh, you gotta commit. You gotta have your significant other. No, I'm sorry. There we go. You gotta be on uh, the same page. Communication. <laughs> you basically gotta heat press the living heck out of these things together. Not the living heck, but you know. You gotta heat press them together and then when you peel it off, the adhesive from here will stick only to the toner from here and then you can put it on your shirt. Who's ready to see a live demo? Me? Me. All right, Me. let's, do, let's it. do it. So we've already printed this beforehand, but everything else you guys are about to see 100% live again. Any questions, as I'm gonna count on you to yeah, just spit absolutely. out the questions as they come on in. Here we go. All righty, so let's take a look here. Going through, got a lot of votes. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, Stevie Steve, two and a half years, still getting assistance. Glad we're able to you know, be of assistance to you guys. Uh, we got one of our local walk-ins. Uh, Crystal Roca said uh, she just came into the office. It's pouring outside. Oh, it is. It yes, is it is. Um, so, I mean, this is another good comment here. This is coming in from our boy Stevie Steve. Out Real in quick, NYC. I'm going to preheat for 30 seconds. Very key. Uh, the, what are we preheating here? Uh, we are just preheating the lower plan. The lower plan. Okay, guys, don't want to be skipping steps here. I have the instruction sheet for a reason. So this is definitely going to be something to keep in mind. Step one, a little bit of a different process, I'd say. You know, some yeah. of these transfers are going to be. So if you haven't worked with this before, you do want to give it that full 30-second pre-press yes, on the lower plan. Yes, 30-second pre-press. And what are we working at? About we're, two... We're at... Nine. So, so let's, we're going to pause real quick. Let me yeah. talk about your settings. Now, we cling to these instructions like a freaking lifeboat, guys. Um, and in the instructions, you'll see that there's a little bit of variance. It'll say, and again, we're going to place this, uh, you know, transfer side down, or I should say ink side up, frosty side up. And then we're going to get our B sheet, and we're going to get, you know, yellow side up. So we're going to put the adhesive 
against it so that way they can get all nice and smashed up together. There we go. Take your time, line that up. The parchment more on top. Yep, just wanna keep everything safe. And now this is gonna go for 90, uh, I'm sorry, we have it at 105 seconds. Okay. So real quick, we're gonna talk about settings. Now, you're going to have to fine tune. I'm going to come back around here. Yeah, because it gives like the settings are kind of presented in like a range of sorts, right? A range. So you'll see how on time for the, for the A to B, we call it the AB transfer, the paper and the foil. Um, for time, it gives us about 90 seconds and uh, an estimate of temperature. And so one thing you have to do is I would say when you're first testing, and this will require a little bit of testing. Um, you know, you want to go right in. We have, it suggested 90 seconds for an A4 or a, close enough to a letter size paper. Okay. Um, at 266 to 275. And so what we found here was with the Signature Series, our particular heat press, you know, there's a little bit of variance there. Um, just to be 100% sure everything transferred, we actually bumped up the, temp, the time a little bit to 105 seconds. Okay. And then we bumped up the temperature to about 290. Um, and this is just where it's just a sweet spot we found for our okay. press. You know, you, you will definitely have to uh, check your settings now if you have a commercial grade heat press. And I'm talking something fancy like our friends over at Hicks have, right? You know what? They actually were a recent guest of ours. And yeah. uh, man, you want to talk about some. It was funny because they, uh, they were telling us that the, heat, the, the heating element it literally makes cold spots virtually non existent. Like there's no such thing as a cold spot on a Hicks heating element. It either works 100%. Or zero percent, and that's our time, really quick here. No, absolutely. Come and open this up, but yeah, you'll probably have a little bit less variance on a really fancy machine like that. Now, here's what we're gonna do, really quick here. Here's a tip that we got from Forever, who makes this awesome paper, is that you don't want to lift the paper off the surface, and when it comes off, you're just gonna kind of rub it in there with a rag. Now, you might be wondering, well, if I just heat pressed it, why the heck would I need to do that? You know what's funny? I'm not really sure, but it works. We've noticed a difference when we do this and then when we don't do this. So I'm just gonna do this. Now, this is gonna be very hot. Um, you've heard me talk about my tortilla fingers in the past. <laughs> and I'm really gonna count on them right now. I see Jared's doing like a nice, smooth, low motion, kind of peeling yes. it against you, itself. You don't wanna peel up. And now I don't know if the camera's gonna catch this. Oh, good. So it looks, you'll see where it pulled up the adhesive and it left, wherever there was no ink, it left the adhesive behind, which is the, one of the beautiful things about FlexSoft. So here we have, and now you notice it was all black, the, the printout was black from the toner. Well, now it's a little bit frosted because it has adhesive on it. There's one more step before we could press it to our shirt. And, uh, and I hope our cameraman doesn't get tired. So I'm gonna kind of just walk over here really quick. This is something that can be done really quick. There's going to be a little bit of adhesive on the edges and you just got to cut it off. So every time, that's why you don't want to print too close to the edge of your paper. Gotcha. We're just going to trim it off to make sure that it does not transfer to our garment. There you go. Hands like a surgeon, Jared. You know, it's fun. When I was a little kid, I wanted to be a doctor, but then I, I realized very quickly that I cannot stand the side of blood. Did I already trim this side? Oh my I don't God. remember, so I'm going to do it again. I, I cannot stand the sight of blood, so like that dream died really quick. Okay. Then I thought I wanted to be an astronaut, but then I realized that I get sick on roller coasters. So, you know, my body just does not coincide with my ambition. All right, now I want to be a weightlifter, but uh, hey, oh, there we go. Follow like your food. heart. <laughs> Follow your heart. So check it out. So we're gonna go really quick to the next step here. And uh, as why don't you beer me a tea? Yeah, absolutely. I think we got an extra over here. There we go. Black 100% cotton work okay? That works beautiful. All right. There we go. Thank you, sir. So You're of course, like always, we are gonna preheat this. I know some people give us a lot of heck for not lint rolling it. We're mostly showing off the process, guys, but if you're actually selling your t-shirts, absolutely, you definitely want a lint roll. And that's, yeah. a, that's a pro oh. tip from Business Mike in regards to quality control. Go. Shout out to Mike and the sales team. All right, so there we go. Just a little, little pre-press, pre remove some moisture, give us a nice smooth surface here for our transfer. Let that moisture Are you guys out. ready? I'm gonna see Honest Abe right now. It's about to go so down. So check it out, so we have our transfer. Now one thing I will warn you guys about um, is when you're putting it down, you may not be able to see on camera. Um, the black of the toner is a little see-through, so you just wanna take a little more care 
uh, when laying down your transfer as far as centering it is concerned. Of course, I probably should be using my T-square, um, but since we're mostly showing off the process here and not an actual how to press T-shirts, I'm going to kind of eyeball and use the finger counting method right there here. There we go. Looking good, looking good. So now we're going to we're going to repress it at the same temperature. Uh, but this time we're only going to go for 30 seconds. Okay. All right. So once this hits 75, uh, then I'll know that it's time to pick it up. There we go. Uh, I just want to touch in on some of these questions we got coming in here. Thank you guys so much. Uh, first up, this is from Bryant Burke Jr. Jared, can you use an inkjet printer or is Forever Flex Off only laser? It is only laser, my friend. And that's because the, uh, the on the B sheet, that's only going to stick to uh, laser toner. It, it, inkjet is just, for, I'm not 100% sure on the science behind that, but it's just not going to stick. Yes, absolutely. Um, as and we that's mentioned, 30 seconds. So. There we go. We are working with our monochrome laser printer, so essentially any laser printer on the market is going to be effective for this transfer. All it requires is the use of that black toner to activate bond that adhesive to in that marriage process. And man, look at this. That was fairly quick. Yeah, that was. So in total press time, we had about 100 seconds, 105 seconds on the AB transfer. And then, oh, here, let's show them off. Okay, so really quick, this is a cold peel. So you're going to want to set this on a nice smooth surface yeah. if you have a nice cold countertop. Uh, lay it on there. You cannot peel that until it is completely cool. So even if it's just a little bit warm, you don't want it. No, all right? No. You don't want it. Just wait. So yeah, so really exciting stuff. I forgot what I was saying before that. Um, we were touching base right. on the compatibility of the printers. Oh, this is right. going to be laser only. It's the, the black toner that really is going to be the uh, secret ingredient for yes. uh, getting your transfer, getting that texture, the distressing, and the intricacy. I mean, you guys saw it. 300 names on the back. 300 names? 300 names. 300. Actually, no, while we wait for this to cool, I'm going to put another one on there. You, you, we, uh, you don't have to show this on camera. Rock and roll. Okay. I should uh, get this done. Let's get her done. Let's take a look here. Okay, so this one, oh, I, I, this is a familiar name here. We got uh, Terry Johnson's asking. So it isn't sublimation. No, this is not sublimation. No, this is actually going to be a laser toner transfer. That is an A to B process. Uh, it is going to be 100% weedless. So um, this is going to also be compatible on a variety of not only materials, colors of fabric, as you can see here. Dude, wait, what is that goodness? This here is a beautiful kind of filigree. Um, Okay, let's Invitation. Show Dude. Well, there's yeah. nothing on the inside yet. Nothing on the inside yet. Very well could. Yeah, we guys might see here, that here. pop I'm, up I'm on the really Instagram here. live. Check that out. Look, Look at, at this. That. So, oh, you wow. want to put your Christmas cards in there? Now, this is a gold foil. There's a lot of different finishes in Flex Off. This is kind of like a goldy foily on the back. So, this is an invitation to our football, our basketball watch party. Who's ever gotten a, who's ever gotten an invitation like that? Now, we didn't put anything on the inside yet. Not yet. Um, that's gonna, Not yet. That's TB. TBD on there, um, but check That's that out. Beautiful. Look at the detail on there. Now here's where I'm gonna confess my sins to you all, is for cardstock, pay attention to the instructions, because for cardstock, you gotta go at a lower temp and a lower, less time. Dummy me, I thought I could do whatever I wanted, and I don't know if you can see that right here, but I paid the Let's price. See. Got a little smur <coughs> smearing, smearing, oh my gosh. You know, you can see here, there's a little bit of mess right there, it's not as, crisp and clear and perfect as it should be and I know it's going to be hard for the camera to get because it's so close but anyways you guys follow the instructions all right follow the instructions now this is just regular cardstock uh this is just regular cardstock you can put your <coughs> invitation stuff in here in flex soft or whatever you want really but this is super rad huh super rad super rad the detail on there is amazing and it takes the same amount of time now one thing I will say about flex soft is it's not the vinyl killer it's not, this is something that you kind of add to your arsenal, right? Absolutely, I mean, for something in this kind of detail, or I mean, with that yeah. amount of names, talk about a time saver. I mean, yes. we, we spoke on this earlier as regards to weeding 300 names, and you know, that's hoping we don't lift any of those letters. God forbid you got a punctuation mark in there, or the middle of, you know, yep. just so many things, time and you know, risk involved, something like this. Again, Jared said, not really to replace vinyl, I feel is something you can add to your arsenal to be more efficient and just really expand what your product offerings are, right? Exactly. And I mean, if you're doing something really simple in vinyl, it may be a little faster to do one. But as we're going to show you right now, 300 names on the back of this shirt, my goodness. Redonkulous how much time you're saving. And look at this, you guys are seeing this live? Again, we did print before the show. Wowzers. 
but we are doing all the all the legwork right here live. More names. More names, bro. Hey, yeah, you want, you want to check on that transfer? Let's yeah, see. absolutely. So we're touching back over here on the Abe Lincoln. This actually feels cool to the touch. Ooh, okay. All right, well, we're going to show you guys how to peel because how to peel is a very important factor in your success with Forever Flex Soft. And again, we want you guys to be Flex Soft pros. That's right. So we're going to show you guys all the tips and tricks, uh, exactly what we do to get this stuff to come out looking as gorgeous as it does. All right, so I'm going to come back around here. Go. We do got another question coming in from Daniel Cruz. Um, does it matter what color the ink is, or just the sheet? Black. The ink has to be. And and if you're and if you're if your printer needs some toner, if it's printing like if it's banding, if it's not printing as strong as it should be, get some new toner, you guys. You have to. And I think I have one more here. Let's see if the camera can come on this. You have to get solid ink coverage. This is a, just an extra one we have as backup. You awesome. have to get solid ink coverage. Because if not, then the adhesive has nothing to stick to. Remember, we're, we're, we're pressing the two sheets together. So if that adhesive doesn't have anything to cling onto, there's no solid toner coverage, you're not going to get the transfers that you like. Um, so um, the ink, you, you don't want to print in really any other color. You want to print the black toner. Um, but as far as what color do the transfers come out, whatever color of FlexSoft you buy. So it's like vinyl in that sense. Uh, if you want yellow transfers on your shirt, you buy the yellow FlexSoft. If you want a really sweet silver it's kind of like a metallic foil almost. It's really, really cool. Um, look, ooh, yeah. Kill them. Um, if you want a silver one, then you're gonna have to buy the silver flex off. We have like a cool green metallic flex off Abe Lincoln that we're about to show you. Uh, and then, you know, of course, we printed that. Someone pick that up. Uh, we printed that, you know, we bought that flex off. So we're gonna show you guys how to peel. And in fact, right. I want a flat surface. So we're gonna move, we'll show you guys those samples right now. Here's how you peel. Oh yeah, that's totally cold. You're gonna wanna roll it, all right? So we're gonna get this, and you're gonna wanna hold the shirt in place. Don't let the shirt stretch. So we're gonna hold the shirt in place, and we're gonna kind of roll it off. And I'm kind of scooting my hand over with it. There we go. And look at that. Dude, look Let's at see. that. <laughs> the camera get that texture in. On that's a real Abe's quote, face. by the way. That's a real quote from Abraham Lincoln, guys. Oh man. <laughs> I'm, pretty sure, I'm pretty sure it is anyways. Absolutely. All right, guys, check that out. So we have our Honest Abe. Uh, we uh, I probably should have done this in bronze, so it looks like a penny. In ah, inside, you know but what? But this is awesome here. It kind of showed that versatility, and this is what we had on hand. Uh, really, you got a lot of options with the Forever Flex Off. This is a single color transfer material. Uh, this came out awesome, Jared. Thank you, thank you. Now we have one more step with Forever Flex Off. If you guys want to have maximum washability, you're going to put it back on for 30 more seconds, all right? So some of you guys might be thinking like, oh, man, that's kind of a lot of steps. But let's be real. When we're, we're going to show you guys this when it's done. Um, getting the kind of detail that we have. Oh, I don't want to burn myself. Getting the kind of detail that we have on Abe Lincoln's face, there's no way that you could weed that out uh, in anything less than a lot of time. Anything but less. A, bun a bunch of minutes is about how long it takes. So uh, really quick here. I'm going to repress this for 30 seconds. Now, if you want it to stay kind of glossy, um, you know, here, I'm going to, uh, you know, I don't know where my uh, non-stick sheet is. If you want it to stay kind of glossy, you could hit it again. You could repress it with your pro-grade non-stick sheet, your Teflon. Um, but if you want it to have a slightly more matte, and it's not going to be an extreme either way, um, but you will notice a difference. We're going to go 30 seconds. If you want it to be slightly more matte, you're going to uh, repress it with some parchment paper. Boom. Repressing it is 100% necessary, by the way. There we go. All righty. So let's take a look here. Uh, got some hellos from all over the U.S. Here we Hello go. Back. Hello back to you guys. All righty. And uh, what's our uh, press time we're doing? You said another 30 seconds another, on this another one? Another 30 seconds And that's kind of just a seal in for washability? Exactly. Okay. Do we have washability estimations? I know um, we're going to be doing some testing, guys. You want to stay tuned for this. Uh, we are going to be kind of working this into our t-shirt rotation. We're throwing it in the wash, in the dryer, with the jeans. So we'll be keeping you guys updated on how our real-time results are. Um, for mm. longest lasting of the garment, we do recommend inside out, cold water. Also hang drying or tumble dry on low is really going to extend the life cycle of your transfer. Um, what would we estimate here, Jared? You know, so if you're if you're pressing solid blocks, I can't 
align that. There we go. There we there go. There we go. Don't believe everything you read on the internet. Abraham. Okay, so now we're gonna get really close to Abe Lincoln's face here. Look at the detail on there. Weeding that out is on vinyl would be near impossible, and it would take forever. Of course, I don't know if you can tell. We have kind of like a little grunge thing going on uh, with the uh, with the image. Very very cool. Uh, and there we go. It's done. You guys saw it from start to finish. Now. If you have something like this, or you know what, I'm gonna show them the, where is that? Here we go. You might, oh no, here, oh, I'm coming back, I'm coming back. Let's bring the camera back here. <laughs> so we're gonna show this to, we got camera two coming up. Here we go, so this is a sample sent to us by Forever. And if you look here, you'll see that it's kinda, it's kinda has like this like half tone. We call it the raster effect. Forever actually has that free available on their website. We'll be sharing the link in the comments a little bit later. Um, so if you have it like kind of like half toned, uh, it has a little perforations on it. It's actually gonna last a lot longer because when you're washing it, uh, and we just made a mess up here. Water can pass through. Exactly. Yes. And it's not gonna break it up. If you're printing in solid blocks, when you wash it, it just it doesn't last as long. So if you have something like this shirt, has a lot of space in between. It's not really very solid blocks. Uh, this is gonna last a lot longer than if I just printed a square of oh, solid material on there. Um, so yeah, but estimates anywhere from 15 to 25. When you do the raster effect, you can go up to like 35 plus washes. Um, we're actually in the process of testing this ourselves. So this is S's shirt. He's gonna be wearing this weekly. Uh, I have my shirt that we're gonna be uh, making. I'll be washing it and wearing it. And we're gonna give you guys our real true results. So make sure you stay tuned, keep following us. Um, one last thing we wanted to show you guys is we, it comes in eight and a half by 11 or 11 by 17. But you're saying that's not, it doesn't look like 300 names. So the last thing we're going to do is um, what we do, we split our graphic up into oh, wow. two separate sheets, right? Yowza. So check this out. This is the last thing we're going to do today. That's a lot of names. Uh, and then we're going to get to our giveaways, right? Woo! Thank you guys so much for being so patient. You guys ready for some awesome prizes, ready for some giveaways. We're going to take this shirt from an 8.5 by 11, show you how right now using our simple printer, we're going to get that 11 by 17 full size, super size me, value meals packaging. Uh, we're going to go ahead and bring in adding. Look at all that. Look at all that, guys. Look at all those Are names. Are you ready? Jared's ready. I was born ready. Rock and roll. I see J. Jonah Jameson. What? No. <laughs> Who dare? Who dare disrespect? Best editor in New York. Okay. So now I think the hard part is just lining it up so it looks, you know, like it was meant to all be there uh, together. Or you could just do a clean break and just like, so it looks intentional, like, hey, we broke this up so you guys could like find your names amidst these 300 names, all right? So I'm just gonna go with that option, make it look intentional rather than put possibly messing it up here. There we go. 30 seconds on the clock. 30 seconds on the clock. And what's our temperature at one more time for this uh, transfer? So for this press we're doing, I, I wanna say 290? 290. 290. 290 on that our sounds signature about series. right. Heat press, and again, there may be some variance on your press, depends on what you're doing, where you're at, all you Polar Vortex people who are heat pressing in your garages, you're probably going to need to add some time and temp to your transfers. There we go. That's why we do recommend the, you know, conducting testing, finding what's going to work best with your individual machine. It does give you a range, so it's going to be a approximation. So for best results before you go into full-blown production mode, uh, we even saw it in the comments. This does take a little bit of testing. Um, this is a little bit of a learning curve with this transfer, with the additional steps. You just want to make sure you have everything dialed in because you want your products to look great. You want your customers to be happy. Happy customers, happy money. Yes. And again, this is, this is not the vinyl killer. You'll never really hear us call it that. But it is more like a helper because, again, being able to offer 300 names on the back of a t-shirt, you know, Jose. you're able to cover a lot more ground with this. Uh, it's super fun, super awesome. And if you think about it, this, this printer... Uh, is on our website. It is clearly under $200, um, so it's not even that expensive. And it just really opens up a whole new world of stuff. A lot of you guys probably already have a laser printer in your home or office, so you know you're, you already have what you need. Just pick up some Flexsoft 
And uh, yeah, maybe you just make a sample. I mean, you want something to present, something for the catalog, something to show that your customers can look, see, and feel. You're not just going to be limited to the fabrics. This can be applied to hard substrates. Um, you know, shout out to uh, my dude Vincent Herrera. He actually recently uh, celebrated a wedding, and uh, yeah. with Christmas just you know coming uh, right behind us, he gave his gal the uh, the vows. Oh, their vows that's that they so actually rad. wrote. So, uh, you know, just kind of thinking outside the box with your transfers, they had a big canvas and literally the notes from their handwritten vows, he typed out, did a beautiful kind of green metallic sort of effect. It was killer. Got it framed. Beautiful. beautiful. That guy, this stuff. He's a genius. I got to take notes from his playbook. The best. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, so we're wrapping up. Don't, stay tuned because we're giving stuff away. All right, you don't want to miss that out. We want to get to some comments here. Uh, Maya says, I had a lot of problems using FlexOff, so I just stopped using it, but this is helpful. You know what? If you purchase your flex off from here at Heat Press Nation, please feel free to shoot us an email or give That's us right. a call. We're happy to help you out. Again, there is some testing involved in tuning in your settings. If you don't want to waste, you know, I went through like 26 sheets. What you could do is you could you could print it out, and as soon as you print it out, cut it into into four. All right, and then you're just gonna test one little one little um, thing at a time. Yeah. Dial in your pressure. You don't need a lot of pressure, by the way. In fact, it's medium to medium light pressure. You don't need a lot of pressure on this. Um, and you've seen it. We did this here live. Yes, we did fine tune our pressure um, beforehand, but if you, you know, that just took a couple minutes. So you really, it's minimal pressure. Yeah. These instructions are your absolute best friend with Forever Flex Talk. Every time um, we mess something up in testing, we look back at the instructions and I'm like, oh yeah, I missed that part. And there are parts that can be missed. I mean, like that first one, kind of even just preheating the lower platen. Yeah. I mean, like we're saying, different kind of outside the box steps, but they are really all recommended to be followed in that order. You want to have awesome, great results like this. You know, we yeah. don't cut corners. We do the steps, yep. follow the instructions, and bake the cake. Yeah, if you don't feel like rewatching this entire uh, Facebook Live, we have a video on Forever Flex Off on our YouTube channel. So make sure you hey. check it out, youtube.com slash heatpressnation. You'll see this ugly mug in your video. Uh, so yeah, I, I talk about Forever Flex Soft on there and give you all the detailed instructions on how to do it with a signature series heat press. Awesome. Um, there we go. Oh, Edward says he bought a Hotronics 1620 in Woo! June last year, Big but has brand. not used it yet because he doesn't have a dedicated 20 amp outlet. Oh man, you got to get that done. The Hotronics Fusion yeah. is a beautiful heat press. Um, way awesome for Flex Soft and stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, super exciting here. Uh, Tour and Food says, I'm planning to do this. I really have no idea yet. Been watching some tutorials. Very confusing, all different materials and names. Oh, this is really interesting. So, well, I mean, this is Forever Flex Off. There are other products on the market. This is the best by far. It's the most consistent. Uh, and even though there's kind of a lot of instructions going on, it is the easiest to use as far as the weedless transfer papers, re uh, weedless laser transfer paper is concerned. Yes. So uh, look no further. Forever Flex off. It's available at heatpressnation.com. You can also go to heat.press slash flex soft. That's F L E X soft. S O F T. There we yeah. go. There we go. We are great spellers. <laughs> there we go. Um, let's take a look here. Four letter words. Hey. <laughs> flex soft. Uh, there we go. Heat.press slash flex soft. All righty. So let's take a look here. Uh, this is a good question. Um, can you come back and do a second color or will the heat mess up that first layer? Oh, you can totally come back and do a second color. In fact, this, this was produced by Forever. They sent this uh, practice. Oh, wow. Uh, not practice. They sent this to us. And you can see they have fluorescent orange and silver for a really cool two tone <laughs> graphic. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll get this over to, to. There we go. The second camera they're gonna be shown in a second here. There we go. So it's two tone. You can totally layer it. In fact, layering is very, very cool. All right. Just gonna give you a heads up because your the whole sheet's going down. Um, layering is it's fun. You want to definitely practice though. Yeah. I mean, if yeah. you look at that positioning there, the registration. I mean, it can be done. Just always take your time. Uh, test trials, trials, trials. Dial it in. Validate. Measure twice, press once. There we go. I like that. And then, uh, of course, we have this other one that they sent us here. Uh, now, this, what they did was at Forever, they combined their uh, Laser Dark, Forever Laser Dark, with Forever Flex Offs. That's oh, how wow. they were able to print the red and then the, the shoes. Anyway, it's very cool. Uh, props to Forever for sending us these transfers. Forever Laser, uh, Forever Laser Dark was on the Chuck's shirt. Awesome. And then, of course, we have our Lincoln shirt. This again is so cool, you guys. 
Uh, very cool stuff, of course. This is not layered. This is a single color transfer, but still very rad. And I think this is cold enough to peel. Let's take a look. Yeah, that's about room temperature. Feels cool to the touch. As we said, guys, this is a temperature sensitive peel. You definitely want to give it time to oh, cool see. back down to room temperature. Uh, you want that no warmth to the touch. And uh, let's take a look here. It's going to be a lot, a lot, a lot of names. See, I'm just kind of rolling it off Woo! here. Look at that. There we go. I did mess up one name down there on the bottom. I'm not sure if I should have cooled it off a little bit. Um, but darn, man, 300 names. There we go. It's pretty rad. Pretty awesome. And these and are alphabetized, too. Kind of. Yep, somewhat. Kinda, yeah. Mostly. Wowzers. Boom. All right, look at all that detail. Imagine weeding out 300 names, you guys. Just think about that. This shirt, of course, we took our time. Would have taken about 10 to 15 minutes uh, start to finish from print to press. Yikes. Um, just to weed out 300 names would probably take you, you know, I would say at least an hour. Jeez. I mean, if, if you know what you're doing, if you have a steady hand, if you don't mess up anything, mm -hmm. I mean, just the error rate on something like this. But no, man, this came out killer. Yeah. So, the guys, this is where it's at. Of course, we have intricate, if you have an intricate design, if you have something that you don't feel like weeding out, this is where Forever Flex Off can supplement your heat transfer vinyl. Uh, it's not the transfer vinyl killer. Um, again, it is really awesome. Uh, and I, I'm a big fan. We're big fans here. Absolutely. And, uh, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. There we go. We're done. Oh, wait. No, we're not. I tricked them. Did well, you, you know what? that? Yeah, you them. did. You did. We're going to get to our prize in just a moment. Um, I want to give our viewers one more shot. Take a look at uh, the nominees for post of the week. Let's you do guys it. can bring them up on the big board there. Let's take a look, guys. Here we go. Boom. So remember, if you guys are kind of tuning in a little bit late, post of the week is where we pick our favorite posts of the previous week. But we let you, our viewers, vote on the winner. So check it out. This is an in memoriam, I believe, an in memoriam uh, sweater. And what I love about the post is they were saying how it doesn't have to be all sad. You know, you can celebrate in style and giving due respect to your loved ones. So check that out. It's option A. Let's take a look here. Um, is this so a cute. sublimation transfer? Sublimation, it looks like the cutest thing I've seen. No, in it's time. great, and it's so true. Love is the most savage monster of all. <laughs> love is a battlefield. It is. Love is. Love is beautiful. Let's go. It's, it's amazing. option B, guys. Let's take it over here to our last As contestant. Somebody has a head start on Easter. There we go. But check I like that out. It. And this is a this is a trifecta. We got some sublimation, some glitter, uh, and then some foil on the that bumper right there. It's, it's very cool. Option C. You guys, we want to know who you think should win. So do us a favor, comment below uh, your vote for the winner. We're going to tie those up, and then next week we'll have a winner. Really quick, who won from last week, you're wondering? Well, let's show them. Shall we show them? Yeah, absolutely. Bring it around, Alex. Let's take a look. Here we go. Here's last week's winner, guys, for HPN Creators Post of the Week. Let's go. Boom! Hey! Hit Squad La awesome. Abra. That's very, very cool, you guys. Of course, these are some sublimation crew socks. Very, very rad. Very awesome colors they were able to get there. Super stoked. We're going to get in contact with you. Uh, option A for winning. Get you your prize. Thank you guys so much. Um, by go. the way, just a heads up, prizes usually take about a few business days to ship out. Just because we got to contact everybody to get blah, 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 blah. So if you're a winner, please don't hesitate to direct message us here on Facebook uh, or at support at heatpressnation.com. And I think we have one more. We got one more. We're not, we're, we don't hold back, guys. We give away at least two prizes every week so if you guys want to go. enter to win a prize like today we have a random drawing um all you got to do is like and share this post that you're watching right now and then when you're done make sure you comment and let us know liked and shared there we go all right you guys without further ado all why don't right you pick up once you pick it bro Big one? okay yeah all right you you, you throw it up in the yeah, air yeah, okay, there we go okay. all right you know how you know how we like to do it here on heat all right. presentation all right in one two Happy Valentine's Day. Oh, oh, right. oh I got, I got, I got, there we go. There we go. We saved it. All right. Congratulations to this week's winner, Nicole Patrice. Is it Fiscus? Fiscus? I'm going to assume Fiscus. Could be wrong. There we but go. But congratulations. You are our winner of this week's prize. Do us a favor. Uh, get uh, either DM us, like we just said, DM us here on Facebook, or shoot us an email to support at heatpressnation.com. Um, and yeah, congratulations. You are yes, our winner. Thank absolutely. you guys so much. Ski yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. More chances to win next week, guys. We got more awesome contact uh, uh, contests, more awesome demos, more fun new products 
just for you guys. There we go, guys. So from all of us here at Heat Press Nation, we wish you a safe and happy Valentine's Day. Uh, make sure you check out the Facebook group, Heat Press Nation Creators, and uh, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Heat Press, Press Nation. Nation. Um, thank you guys so much for letting us kick start your weekend, and we will see you next week. Happy Valentine's Day. Stay happy safe. Valentine's Day. Stay safe.